So Apple's recently released the information for WWDC, and we now need to use the new app package, which is available within Swift Playgrounds 4. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Swift Playgrounds app package using both an iPad and also Xcode. So first of all, I'm gonna show you in Swift Playgrounds. So within the Swift Playgrounds app, we now have this new feature here uh, that is a create an app. Previously, we only had a playground. So this is a new app package. So I'm gonna click on that. I'll have a new app created. I can click on the title there and rename it to WWDC 22. From there, if I open up my app package, you'll see a similar view um, to what you see in normal SwiftUI packages. Uh, we can also open up the project directory. We can see our app settings. So if you wanna to change to a custom icon or anything else, we have that available. We have our team identifier. We can upload to App Store Connect. If we click on the three dots here, we can also go to advance and add in your Apple ID um, if you need to do that for any signing or testing for different devices. So this should look fairly, fairly similar, uh, familiar for you. Um, the last thing that you do need to do, which you may not be aware that you can do within uh, iPad OS, is when we submit, it has to be under 25 megabytes and it also needs to be zipped up as well. Uh, so if I go over to my files um, and I go to iCloud Drive, and my playground, uh, you'll see your Swift Playgrounds package. We can then right click on it or two finger click or long hold on it as well also works. Click compress and that will create that zip uh, file ready for your submission to the WWDC website. So if you're in Xcode and you want to create a new Swift Playgrounds app package, but you don't have an iPad ready for WWDC submissions, you need to select iOS when you have the dash for uh, creating new projects, iOS, and you'll be able to choose Swift Playground app, and then you can click next. Give this a project name, so I'm gonna call it WWDC 22. Uh, we don't need to have a team, and then we can also, of course, have our organization identifier as well. Click Next, save that to where you need it to be. Uh, from there, it'll be a similar app package to what you've seen in Xcode. We have your content view, which is your main view at the moment for your Swift UI uh, program. It'll still output the same. We can still build our projects the same. Um, and then, of course, we have my app, which defines our entry point and also what our main view is as well. Uh, so we can still have the same assets and everything else as we've seen before. We're just using this new app package which became available during Swift Playgrounds 4. In order to do this, you will also need to make sure that you have at least Swift, uh, sorry, Xcode 13.3.